mysterious looping space signal could be aliens, says Harvard scientist. In 2020, powerful fleeting bursts of radio signals were detected in a relatively regular pattern. Weird signals like this coming from outer space are called fast radio bursts. According to Harvard University professor Abraham Loeb, Aliens trying to contact the Earth is definitely a possible explanation. Loeb became famous in the world of astronomy when a bizarre interstellar object called Oumuamua buzzed the Earth in 2018. He suggested that the object could be an artificial craft of some kind, meaning it was designed and created by some form of intelligent life. Since then, Loeb's take on news about mysterious signals coming from outer space began to be sought after. Powerful bursts coming from the other side of the universe would require a massive source of energy to be able to get the signal across into a part of the universe detectable by humans. Loeb and his colleague crunched the numbers on how much energy is needed to produce an FRB across cosmological distances. It turns out that the amount of power needed is comparable to the power in sunlight intercepted by the Earth. In simpler terms, a project like this would take millions of times more power and resources than anything any scientist has ever imagined here on Earth. It's safe to assume that our technology is so far behind that it would probably take thousands of years before humans can attempt such a project. Could it be that this is the aliens' way of showing how powerful they are? Could this be a warning, or could it just be one of the many random and unexplainable events in our mysterious universe? While the vast majority of people might think this is just another fake alien story, to a well-respected scientist from Harvard like Loeb, it would be a mistake to automatically rule out aliens. Although now, we don't have a definite explanation as to what exactly causes FRBs, it's important that we remain open-minded to possibilities including extraterrestrials trying to contact humans. So what is an acceptable theory to this looping space signal? Loeb believes that the powerful signals detected in 2020 are most likely the bright analogy of pulsars, which are spinning neutron stars with strong magnetic fields. And what exactly are pulsars, you might ask? Pulsars are rotating neutron stars that are observed to have pulses of radiation repeating regularly with intervals ranging from milliseconds to seconds. While this is a possible rational theory, it's not at all backed by substantial evidence that could confirm its validity. Random or not, one thing is for sure. We are years, if not decades or even centuries away from finding out the truth to this mystery. Astronomers discover massive galaxy shipyard. Scientists may soon have the opportunity to study how galaxies form clusters after their creation. In a 2021 publication, a team of researchers confirmed the discovery of a protocluster, which refers to a group of galaxies about to group together by the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope. The team was able to discover the protocluster by looking through a sample of over 2,000 formations that were potentially in the process of forming a galaxy group. Galaxy clusters are extremely important. Our own solar system, the Milky Way, is part of a cluster called the Local Group. However, studying protoclusters is difficult because they cannot be detected by optical light. To find them, scientists must look to other regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Protoclusters tend to appear far more prominently in submillimeter wavelengths. The newfound galaxy group, which has been identified as the G237 protocluster, was observed in the far infrared region. G237 is 11 billion light years away from Earth. So far, 63 galaxies have been observed as part of the protocluster. As explained by Brenda Fry, co author of the study, you can think of galaxy protoclusters such as G237 as a galaxy shipyard in which massive galaxies are being assembled. Only this structure existed at a time when the universe was 3 billion years old. Galaxies are created when gravity pulls together stars and other matter. After they are assembled, galaxies show a strong tendency to form clusters. Researchers were initially puzzled by the formation processes of the G237 protocluster. It seemed to be forming stars at an unrealistic rate, more than 10,000 times that of the Milky Way. This should indicate a protocluster that is depleting stellar fuel rapidly. 
To sustain its level of production, G237 needed a constant stream of fuel, in the form of hydrogen gas, which is necessary to form stars. The problem was that scientists did not know where it could be getting this gas. Ultimately, it was concluded that sufficient hydrogen could be drawn from gas threads, called filaments, that link galaxies in the cosmic web. Filaments are connected by nodes, which is also where protoclusters are located. Fry stated, We believe that the filaments mediate the transfer of hydrogen gas from the diffuse medium of intergalactic space onto these hungry, newly forming protoclusters in the nodes. Researchers also realized some of their data had come from galaxies irrelevant to the protocluster, but the G237 star formation rate remains impressive nonetheless. It appears that the protocluster produces 1,000 solar masses annually, while the Milky Way creates only one. Hopefully, G237 and other protoclusters will help scientists understand the mechanisms of star formation in galaxies and how protoclusters ultimately become superclusters. Scientists spot baby alien planet that might be forming moons. Planetary formation is a slightly mysterious process that is believed to occur when specific conditions are met. For gas giants specifically, this requires areas that are highly gaseous and have lots of dust available. Although the exact mechanics are not fully known, the best way to answer these questions once and for all is by observing the formation of exoplanets beyond our solar system, although this has proven to be a futile quest, that is, until recently. Thanks to the increasingly powerful telescopes being developed, researchers were able to locate the first ever gas detection in the disk around distant star AS209 using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. These detections point to the possibility that a baby planet likely in the early stages of becoming a Jupiter-esque gas giant, may be responsible. Observation of these conditions can help researchers to understand how systems developed, from planetary formation to the creation and migration of moons in the early stages of system formation. As one might expect, such an incredible discovery is challenging researchers' ideas of what is possible according to the confines of our current understanding of the laws of space, while the baby exoplanet is only 395 light-years from Earth, providing researchers with a great view to study its early days, it is 200 times the distance from its host star than Earth is from our Sun. This distance has left astronomers scratching their heads, as it was previously believed that a planet of this size could not be supported at such great distances from its host star. Although researchers have investigated several possible explanations for how the planet could exist at such a large size with such a great distance, none appear to be sufficient. One theory suggested the possibility that the host star's disk may have been gravitationally unstable in the past, and the planet initially formed much closer. Although simulations indicated that this could result in the creation of a planet at similarly great distances from the host star, it did not appear to support the creation of a gas giant of this size. Authors of the resulting paper suggested that, while it is not possible that the disk was sufficiently massive in the past, the small present-day disk mass implies that the disk should have lost its mass very efficiently since then. So although the discovery of a planet in the early stages of formation is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for researchers to observe, it has certainly raised a host of questions that must be resolved in order to come to terms with or update current theories of planetary formation. New fast radio burst blips 2,000 times A huge Chinese telescope recently detected 1,863 bursts in 82 hours and over 54 days from an active fast radio. Radio bursts are essentially bright and powerful emissions of radio waves that range in speed from a fraction to a few milliseconds. They can produce energy that is equivalent to what the Sun produces in a year. In this recent discovery, the telescope detected nearly 2,000 bursts, which has never been recorded before and in such a short period of time. This has left scientists puzzled as to what may be causing these signals to appear so rapidly. The common hypothesis is that these bursts are the result of collapsed stars. 
A collapsed star is when the outer layer of the star ejects into space and creates an enormous explosion of X-rays and gamma-ray bursts. These explosions are some of the largest and most extraordinary to exist. They cause large bursts of energy, which may be what the radio is picking up. However, some scientists argue that these bursts might not be the result of collapsed stars, but rather signals of alien civilizations and proof that life on different planets or solar systems exists. An astrophysicist named Bing Zhang from the University of Nevada claims that scientists are now forced to return to the drawing board and will need to further research the possibility of life outside of Earth. The frequency of the radio bursts is unlike anything else discovered before and raises questions that have yet to be properly answered. Its origins remain very much a mystery waiting to be solved. Scientists discover Jupiter-sized planet When it comes to the eventual end of life for the Sun, scientists must look into the far reaches of space to try to estimate the fate of our galaxy. While examples elsewhere in the cosmos have indicated that our own planet Earth will inevitably be caught and incinerated in the fiery blast as the sun dies down into a white dwarf, what is less clear is what fate lies in store for those planets that are lucky enough to reside outside of the reaches of the final eruption of our sun. A recent article published in the journal Nature attempted to predict the fate of planets such as Jupiter or Saturn by analyzing a white dwarf star over 6,500 light-years away, being orbited by a planet approximately the size of Jupiter and occupying a comparable orbit. This combination is notable because it provides a rare example of the remains of a star and one of its residual planetary orbits. Most burned-out stars that have been identified are orbited by rocky planetary debris, and instances of an entire intact planet remaining in orbit are rare. This planet, a gas giant with a mass and apparent composition markedly like Jupiter's, allows scientists to hazard a guess as to what might happen to those planets on the outskirts of the Sun's gravitational pull. Additionally, it offers implications for how any life that exists on these planets might survive such a catastrophic event as the destruction of our star. The white dwarf star that the planet orbits around is also notable because it seems that, during its time as an ignited burning star, it was just as similar to our Sun as the gas giant is to Jupiter. White dwarves are stars that burned out by swelling into a red giant and rapidly burning through the hydrogen fuel, absorbing any planets they encounter as they expand. Eventually, the atmosphere of the star burns up, resulting in a residual core around the size of Earth that calls for billions of years as a white dwarf. This is likely the fate of our Sun and was also the fate of the star with the lone Jupiter-like planet in orbit around it which has given scientists a chance to study the conditions that might have occurred to allow the planet to avoid destruction during the raging transition involved with the star's evolution into a white dwarf. Not only did the published study determine that gas giants do not need to be as far away as previously speculated to survive their star's end, but it also supported the theory that over half of all white dwarfs likely have their own residual planets orbiting them. The data of this study determined that the planet and its star formed at around the same time, and the planet orbits approximately 414 million kilometers from the star. Although closer than estimates had previously allowed for surviving planets, this distance is still almost three times the distance of Earth from the Sun. Joshua Blackman, lead author of the published study, said that this evidence confirmed that planets orbiting at a large enough distance can continue to exist after their star's end of life. Given that this system is an analogy to our own solar system, it suggests that Jupiter and Saturn might survive the Sun's red giant phase, when it runs out of nuclear fuel and self-destructs. Although this is not the best news for those of us here on Earth, if there are any undiscovered life forms lurking on Jupiter or Saturn, they will be very relieved indeed. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.